Assalamu alaikum students. Hope you are all fine. This is your English class. As we are going through the rules um, for using the proposition. That is rules of position. And we have read the two rules in the previous video. Now rule number three is. A verb cannot become a proportional object. It means a proportion can't be followed by a verb. It means if we use a proportion in a word then the next word should not be an verb if it will be a verb then the sentence is incorrect let me go through the examples now for example he prevented me from drink cold water it is here the proposition is from and from is followed by a verb here that is drink he prevented me from drink cold water so but here the rule is a verb cannot become a proportional object it means it should not be a verb should not be after proposition or a proportion should not be followed by a verb it means this is incorrect sentence like he insisted on try again on is a proportion it is again followed by a verb so it is again an incorrect sentence he is bad at keep promise at is a proportion again proportion is followed by a verb so it is an incorrect sentence she is good at solve problem again at is a proportional it is followed by a verb these sentences are incorrect another one example they are talented in hunt in is a proportion it is followed by a verb so again it is an incorrect sentence now a verb can't become a proportional object or we cannot use a verb after a, uh, this proposition but if we have to use a verb as well as this uh, proportion in a same sentence. How we can use the proportion and the verb in the same sentence? It should be an another rule. So the rule four is the same. That is, if we have to use a verb in the sentence, where there is a proportion also we can use the verb in its gerund form so verb placed after a proportion should be in a gerund form so also we can say that verb placed immediately after the proportion must be in a gerund form now what is a gerund form it is the ing form of the verb but it acts as a noun in the sentence it means it acts as a noun name of some activity or some action name of some action so we can use the verb and the proposition in the same sentence by using the verb in its gerund form like example Jiren acts as both verb and noun, but here, uh, where there is a use of proportion also, or a proportion uh, followed by a verb, there should be the jiren in its ing form, and that should work as a noun in the sentence. Example: Swimming is my hobby. So, here, swimming it acts as a noun. Lying is a bad habit. Again, lies, lying it is a uh, this here yeah, noun is a name of some bad habit. Swimming it is a name of some uh, this activity. So it's a noun. It is also a noun. Running is fun. Here it is also running. It acts as the name of some activity. So it is a noun here. Smoking is injurious to health. Again here smoking. Smoke is a verb but here smoking is act 
acts as a verb sorry noun in the sentence it is the name of some activity his hobby is hunting 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 is actually a verb but here it is the name of its hobby so it is here it acts as a verb now we are having the uh, examples in the rule 3 we can uh, this correct them by using the gerund form of the verbs like uh, he prevented me from uh, drink cold water we can correct it by using the ing form of verb gerund form of verb now we will see whether it will be correct or not it will seem correct or not he prevented me from drinking cold water yes it makes a sense Likewise, in the another example, he insisted on try again. We can write, he insisted on trying again. Yes, it makes a sense. He is bad at keep promises. He is bad at keeping for promises. She is good at solving problems. She is good at solving problems. They are talented in Hunt, nay, hunting they are talented in hunting so we have seen that a verb can't become a proportional object or proportion cannot be followed by a verb but if we have to use the verb uh, this after a proportion we can use it as gerund form it's the most important rule of the proposition i uh, hope you have understood this is on for today have a nice day